What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kev Ozella back with another Strike Pack video. Yes, Strike Pack only. So I'm sorry for all my uh, Zen family members out there. But regardless of what, I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video. Don't forget to drop that like or just like totally up to you. But I'm going to be covering something I haven't gone over in quite some time. And that's some um, that's the stock mods. I wouldn't call them free, but the stock mods that come out the box um, associated with your Strike Pack, whether it's the Dominator or the Eliminator. Now, these mods are not, I'm going to say this right now, they're not great. They're not superior. Obviously, the you you want my pass. You're gonna ultimately want the subscription. It's a lot better, dedicated, more crazier aim assist mods and stuff like that. Right? You got dedicated um weapon profiles that work way better than just using the anti recoil mod with the strike pack. But for all those of you who um who rocking the strike pack as is without my pass, you know you don't got the my pass subscription and you want to use something you know for right now to help you out with Warzone. I got you guys. Now I, I went over this in the past. Um, but now I'm gonna refresh you guys memory. I'm actually gonna have gameplay stuff like actually testing to see if it's valuable and usable Now there's a way to have weapon swap and stuff like that and have anti-recall for your primary Applying rapid fire for your secondary now. That's the only way this works, All right? The only way it's gonna work is by having anti-recall for the primary now again It's not perfect. It's not gonna be like a super beam for every weapon Attachments do matter and there's certain attachments that regardless of what it's gonna give you a hard time and even finding, you know, a, a good, um, a good result. All right. So again, this, these mods are not perfect. They're, they're decent. They're blah. But again, ultimately, you're gonna want my pass. All right. Now I'm gonna set this up like this. I'm gonna have a primary, and secondary. Primary is going to be actually the Farah. So I got it right here. All right. I got the Farah, and then I got the the Madi right here. All right. Now the attachments are pretty much, you know, the go-to besides the other barrel. So I took off the other barrel because same rules apply. When using anti recoil mod, I highly, highly suggest you guys do not run an unbarrel, okay? So I got the groove suppressor, special ass RPK, 45 round, serpent wrap, and axe arms, all right? And for my pistol, my secondary, got the AGC suppressor, the task force, the five milliwatt laser sight, um, stay nag, stay nag, 30 round mag, and uh, serpent wrap, right? Boom simple simple enough so i'm gonna have my primary gonna try to adjust the recoil and get and, and make it a beam as close as possible again these mods are like eh, they're not they're not too great but it's something you guys can use for those of you who want something to use for warzone you're rocking the strike pack and you don't got my pass right and then i'm gonna have my secondary with automatic weapon swap by pressing triangle you guys already know what that is and i'm gonna have rapid fire with my pistol all right also i'm going to be enabling um, hair trigger so the strike pack has built-in hair trigger mod you already know what that is that's kind of like having like trigger stops but it's like di digitalized i guess you could say it like that it's like digital trigger stops all right all right you guys so now that i'm here first things first make sure you're in mod mode if the eyes are white in the back of your strike pack you're in tournament mode you need to go into mod mode there's two small black buttons in the back of your strike pack just press them both i like to start with the left then the right boom make sure the eyes are blue that means you're in mod mode that means no mods are active right let me let me go ahead and mute this all right now i can't hear it just like you can't hear it so if somebody comes and kills me i can't hear it because i muted the game it just makes it easier for you guys to follow along all right now first things first press and hold the small left um directional button keep keep holding it hold it for about five seconds all right first light should shine on the left side press square one time press triangle on that second led light that's secondary rapid fire for your secondary press square again go to the third light that's anti-recoil press triangle on that now, let, now, if you let go of the D-pad, the left side, you can see both LEDs are solid on, right? Let me run in here because I don't want to, like, get kicked or anything. I'm just going to pick up random weapons, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I won't get kicked. Okay? And now you're going to want to turn on um, weapon swap. The way you go about turning on weapon swap, press and hold the right D-pad for five seconds. Keep, don't worry about it. Let him kill me. Keep pressing hold it until the light shines white. You see that light shining white? Press triangle one time, it flash green. Now, uh, now you just enable automatic weapon swap. The way you deactivate is the same way. You hold right on D-pad for five seconds, press triangle again to deactivate it, but I'm not gonna deactivate it because that's what I want. That's what we need. Let me come over here. Go somewhere quiet, away from people. Hopefully over here. All right. Now let's just go to the 20 because I like, you know, I do all my anti recoil testing and stuff like that where AR is from a 20. Now, if you press triangle, you can see the light flash green. It's always going to flash green. It's always going to flash green. There's no red indicating that you got your secondary. So you just got to remember every time you press triangle, it's going to flash. The way you test, see if it got rapid fire. Let me turn on the um, the volume. Just ADS and shoot. 
If it shoots like that, fully auto, then you're good. That means you're on your primary. All right, that's a justice recoil um, for this. So you see a shot straight down. The way you go about adjusting with the strike pack, press and hold the left D-pad for about five seconds. All right, the light should, you see it, start flashing orange. Now we're good to go. Make sure you are on that third light, okay? Make sure you're on that third light. Now pressing R1 is gonna bring the recoil up and L1 is gonna bring the recoil down. We wanna bring the recoil up. So keep pressing R1 a couple of times. If you want, you can like, you know, count the presses and all that stuff, but just keep pressing it. And when you let it go, you can shoot and test. But let me run in here because I don't want to get kicked. All right. Oh, and there's no slide cancel, um, slide cancel macro mod. So you're going to have to like slide cancel yourself. So I got my left paddle circle. My right paddle is jump or X or whatever have you. Uh, that's cool. All right. So let's go back. Let's go back to the wall. All right. Now from a 20 ADS. And shoot, you want to empty out, you know, the, the whole max. See where the recoil goes. All right, made it a little bit better, but it's still dragging down. So press the whole left on the D-pad again for about five seconds. Wait until the light, that light starts flashing orange. Good. Now keep pressing R1 a couple more times. A couple more times. We want to um, try to even out the recoil, make it a beam if we could. All right, now let's test again. Okay, now it went a little too much. I went overboard. So press hold left D-pad again. Wait till the light flash orange. And then press that one. I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it go. Now let's test again. Nope. It's still going up. Press a hold left D-pad. Wait till the light shine orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's test again right here. Okay, that looked a whole lot better, but wait. I'm gonna test again. Might have to adjust, do a, a, a bit more adjusting, but you guys get it, you guys get the whole idea. From 20 again. There you go, see? There you go, that looked a lot better, see that? And that's it. The only thing, obviously, is with the strike pack, so you're dealing with the built-in mods, so there's no values, there's no anything. You just gotta go off of um, testing at a wall and just see where the recoil goes, see? And now I fixed it. Now you're gonna notice something. When I press triangle, the light flash green. Now that I got a semi-automatic pistol, you can see that, the Demodis. You see, I got fully, it's fully auto. Well, it's rapid fire, because it enabled the rapid fire. I have rapid fire for the secondary. And then when I press triangle, it's back to my AR. All right? So that's how you go about. And you wanna enable, if you're using um, the built-in mods, you're gonna wanna enable let me use this one more time. You're going to want to enable the hair triggers that I was talking to you about in the beginning of the video. Press and hold the right D-pad and then press R1 and then press L1. See, it light flash red. Press R1 again. Press R1 again. It flashes. See, it flashes red. So green, you're enabling them, right? So pressing R1 is going to enable hair trigger for R2 and pressing L1 is going to enable it for L2, right? But remember, press and hold the D-pad. So press D-pad right and then there you go. D-pad right. See, there you go. So now they're fully enabled. So now if I press slightly down on L2, you see that? I'm not even putting no pressure. It's already it's already ADS. You see that? That's the hair trigger mod. It's cool. It's pretty dope. I, I'm in a new game. Now, one last thing I want to show you guys is the auto hold breath mod. So yes, this strike pack does have auto hold breath. So I'm, I'm bringing you all valuable information, all valuable mods um, that's already built into the strike pack that's very usable in Warzone, okay? In Warzone. Now, check it out. See? Let me show you uh, what I'm going with. So just regular card 98, and I didn't change my secondary, right? Still got rapid fire in my secondary with weapon swap. So you can see, see, still rapid fire, right? And then when I swap back to my primary, I got no auto hold breath, right? The way you go about enabling auto hold breath, you just press down the D-pad and click in that left stick, L3. And you see the light flash green? Now check it out. You got auto hold breath built into the strike pack, right? No mod pass needed, see? And then when you swap, still got rapid fire. See, swap, or the whole breath. See, pretty dope. This is for all you snipers, all right? There you go. So that's how you go about. Swap, press down the D-pad, it flashed red, indicating that now I turned it off. See, no more the whole breath. No more the whole breath. And there you go, simple. And then if you want it again, down the D-pad and click the L3, and there you go, turn it off, boom. 
And let me just let you guys know, the way you turn off mods, you just press the whole left on the D-pad. Wait till the light starts flashing. You see that starts flashing. Now, just keep pressing circle on that, on that specific slot, on that specific mod. Press circle, and it's going to turn it off, okay? And then let it go, and you can see no mods are active, right? No mods are active, but I still have the hair triggers. So if, if I press the whole right on the D-pad, you can see that. Flash red, flash green, flash red to turn them off. And that's it. You're good to go. And then just back to turning mode. All right, you guys. One last tip before I end today's video because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask. This is very important. Let's say you die or you need to reset. The way you go about resetting, press and hold right on the D-pad. But immediately, right after, you want to press triangle. So you don't want to hold D-pad for five seconds. Press and hold it for at least one second and then press triangle. That's going to reset it back to your primary. All right, so let's say you swap to your secondary or swap to your primary. That's the way you reset it. Press and hold right in the D-pad and then just press triangle. And it's automatically going to um, swap back to your primary. And if you ADS with your primary and then shoot, you're going to see that you got your uh, your beam back, your anti-recoil. And that's how you go about. I know it's a bit complicated, guys, but it is what it is. Um, this is all stock right out the box with the stripe pack. All right? If you get my pass, it makes things a heck of a lot easier because everything is done. All the settings is done within... Um, mod pass you know on your pc and stuff like that but granted i know a lot of you guys uh, don't have mod pass and you've just been using the stripe pack as is so these are a few tips uh and tricks that can help you out um as far as warzone is concerned right so go out there have fun if this video helped you out you guys already know what to do smash that like button and i'll catch you all on the next video peace and stay safe